Welcome to Chemistry Lover and this is the series 100 important topics in organic chemistry and in this video I'm going to talk about another important and interesting topic and that is the alkene metathesis the alkene metathesis which is done by Krupp's catalyst so this is a very important reaction and if I uh, put a representative example of this so you will find it in many books and that is let's say you have uh, this kind of molecule where you have two alkenes two alkene groups and uh, that two alkenes are linked then you will do a ring formation reaction a ring closing reaction and this is a ring closing metathesis so this is done by Graff's catalyst and this Graff's catalyst is very important many question comes in CSI and NET and GATE exam from this topic so this is how the reaction occurs this is the uh, this is the summary of the reaction so I will talk about the mechanism and all other variations so what is a metathesis reaction metathesis reaction if I uh, represent by a simple example it is like let's say you have this alkene R1 and another alkene where you have R2 here and if you use some metal catalyst like Krupp catalyst here you will have an exchange of the alkene so you can see the alkene exchange occurs you have this ethylene and these two are now linked right so exchange of alkene occurs between two partners and also another important thing you should notice is this r1 and r2 these groups are always trans to one another in the product they are trans to one, one, trans to one another so this is the mm, this is the simple example of alkene metathesis now uh, the Krupp's catalyst what is Krupp's catalyst it is a ruthenium based catalyst the structure of the catalyst is something like this here you have two PCY3 that means phosphine groups where you have cyclohexane three cyclohexanes are attached to the phosphine and here you have this carbene generally this group is used in Grubbs catalyst and this is the Grubbs first generation catalyst in the Grubbs second generation catalyst all the groups are same like this all the groups are same the only difference is uh, here you have some in heterocyclic carbene so this is in heterocyclic carbene okay and here you have mesetyl group this is the mesetyl group another uh, mesetyl groups will be here okay so this is Grubbs second generation catalyst and both catalysts do the same work but there are some advantages of this second generation catalyst over the first generation now let us see how the reaction occurs how this uh, metathesis reaction works so uh, we we will uh, we will show our example with this particular example so this is our example so if we react this with this Krupp's catalyst we will have this product so here you will have a double bond now in the first step what happens so this is our ruthenium species and we will not write down the other part of this molecule because this is the reactive part and we need to consider only this thing so first this will react with the molecule like this so here you will have a cycloaddition reaction 2 plus 2 cycloaddition like this and you will have a metallocycle this is called a metallocycle so here you have this thing so this is how the metal cycle forms now this metal cycle can collapse okay how it how it can collapse so 
this will go here and this will go here so this is how it will collapse and you will have this so this is the first step after the first step this will happen now in this step you have this styrene as your side product now you can see again this part and this part they can undergo the 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction so we'll again write down it so here you have this mm, let me draw it again yeah so this this is how i can draw it so now if cycloaddition occurs between these two so this is another metal cycle that will form here like this and now it can again collapse in the previous way so this bond will come here and this will go here so you will have this thing and this is your product so this is how you will get it now you can see here we generated this uh, carbon again this metal carbon again and this this will do the same work as this does so this is how the reaction cycle goes on the reaction will not stop it will go as a cycle and you need this Grubbs catalyst only catalyst catalytic amount like uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 mole percent is sufficient for doing this reaction okay so after this step this is the reactive catalyst that will do the reaction ruthenium complexed with this simple carbon now uh, not only the ring closing reaction occurs with this Grubbs catalyst but also uh, there is another kind of uh, metathesis reaction that is called in ion metathesis in ion metathesis in this reaction what happens so there is an example so let's say you have this alky alkyne over one side and double bond over another side so then with this if you do the reaction with Grubbs catalyst what you will do so here you have some R group so with this you will form diene you can see so here the bond formation will occur sorry uh, here the bond formation will occur and you will have the dye not actually like this if, if I uh, write down the mechanism it will be clear so this is how uh, the in this is called the in ion metathesis because here the reaction occurs between one triple bond that is ion and one in and by this reaction you are getting a diene so here you have a diene so let us see how this reaction occurs so in this case we will use ruthenium this uh, particular carbon complex as our uh, starting catalyst but actually the reaction start with that uh, phenyl substituent but onwards because it occurs with this we are starting with this so now first what will happen so first your alkyne will uh, react with this so this is your alkyne right so this is how the reaction occurs okay so this is a double bond now uh, this particular intermediate it can collapse how it can collapse so uh, you can see if this goes here and this goes here it can collapse so from here you are getting something like this so here you have one two three so this is one two three yeah so here you have this R test and this so this is the first thing you will get now with this particular thing another let's say alkene alkene group it can react so now this is our intermediate 
and we have our alkene over here so again between these two cycloaddition will occur so with this cycloaddition we will have this r double dashed here we have r dashed and now it will again collapse so how it can collapse so here it will come and this will go so you have this ruthenium this catalyst regenerated and here you have this thing so this is how we generated this diene right so this this is how we, gen we generated diene and this is the in ion metathesis so uh, both the alkene metathesis and enine metathesis are done with the Grubbs catalyst and in this case actually uh, I I have to put the correct regio chemistry so if I just omit the R dashed group it will be more clear because here the R uh, R dashed group will not be here so I just remove this for the actual reaction I just I want to remove it yeah so here yeah so this is how the reaction occurs because in the actual case in the actual case the residual selectivity will be slight different and if you use this R1 and this R2 like this you will have a product like this one okay so because they are always across the same double bond and they are trans to one another so that's why i uh, omitted this r group here for clarity but this is the actual mechanism and uh, this is the in ion metathesis so i hope that this video will help you thank you for watching